it was crazy, man, because I think I think he knew I was a big fan of his. Cause yeah. In every movie, you could check out all the movies, Fridays from Fresh Hours. I, I have something in it about Michael Jackson, because I guess it was I got influenced by growing up with you know Michael like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I met everybody, all his family members before I met him. I met Jermaine. I met uh, uh, Joe Jackson. Even called me one time in a comedy club. Because like, all of them were big fans. All of them. I, well, yeah. I don't know. I wanted to meet Michael, and uh, <laughs> but they always just call him. I was like, "Where's Michael? <laughs> Yo, did you bring call me with up? Michael on the other line." <laughs> I don't want to hear like, from you. <laughs> yeah, him probably hearing about. And we got on the phone with each other one time. Yeah. And he told me he was performing. He was doing his album in New York, and I was doing Rush Hour Two in Vegas. Yeah. And he said, "When you through, just come to New York, and we can do." <laughs> And, it's, you know, it's great. I'm a big fan. And I'm like, I'm a big fan, Mike. You don't understand. He's like, oh, wait, 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 whenever you're done, let's get together. But I spent a lot of money uh, to see Michael. Really? I, I, yeah, because I took a private plane to New York. I took a private to plane him. to New York. Because Michael told me, you know, when you finish Rush Hour, come see him. So I knew he was there. I called him before I went because I was going there for something else. Yeah. And I kept leaving a message. Michael, I'm in New York. If you're around, I'd love to see you. And I didn't hear anything. So I got on that. Same private plane, flew back to Los Angeles. You know, I was done. As soon as I landed, I got a message from Michael Jackson's office, like, Michael, I want to meet you tomorrow in New York City. I was like, what? Don't tell me to go back. And I went right up to the captain's seat, and I said, take me back no to New way. York. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. said, well, is this going to cost? I said, I don't care. You got my credit card. Just take me back. <laughs> Man, I took. I, I, probably, I, probably, I was in an expensive plane, too. I don't know what it was, G4 or whatever. I yeah. said, take me back. I'm about, I didn't tell what I was doing. It, it was worth it, man. Every dollar. And that's how we became friends. It was like. I don't know how much it was, but it was crazy. They flew me all the way back. The guy said, cool. The pilots went right back up in the air. They had enough time. They could fly uh, some more. So that's how, that's, how, that's how I met Mike. Was he really as giving as everybody says he was? Oh, yeah. He was. He was. He was. Because he was like, any time that I wanted to go to Neverland, like, you know, I would just call him, Michael, I want to go. I want to come up to Neverland. He said, like, of course. Sure, <laughs> yeah, come on yeah. up. I'm not there. I'm in Russia. But go up. <laughs> the chefs are still there and everybody's there. Go, go. <laughs> So he was nice. I mean, he was he was a joke. He liked to joke around, and so he was he was fun. A lot of fun to be around.